Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. In this discussion, you are expected to concentrate more. If you can, watch this when you are ready. The London I Spy Codes By The Secret Historian You can find him on TartariaBritannica.com Innocent Terrest Attraction Or Covert Code Messenger What is hiding in plain sight at the London Eye? This gargantuan ferris wheel is something I would like to report and quite the accidental find. Take this as a warning fellow truth seeker. When someone spends a lot of time deciphering codes, they become really good at recognizing them wherever they appear. The following is a random little discovery that I thought I'd share. While out feeding my curiosity on the latest treasure hunt, I was led to London South Bank. I found my eye drawn, not to the usual beautiful buildings of old London town, full of wonder and unanswered questions, but to something rather more modern, and to my mind far less attractive. The London Eye. I'd not really paid it much attention before, but now, something was niggling me about it. So, I decided to follow my intrigue, and began looking into the stats of the all-seeing London Eye. I noticed some interesting numbers appear, well, one number in particular to be more precise. Remember, it's always hidden in plain sight. The London Eye is 443 feet high, which equates to 135 meters. 135. So, 1 plus 3 plus 5. Equals 9. The circumference is 1,392 feet, which equates to 424.2816 meters. 424.2816. So, 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 8 plus 1 plus 6 equals 27. 2 plus 7 equals 9. A ride on the eye takes 30 minutes at a speed of 0 0.6 miles an hour. 3006. 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6 equals 9. Speed times time equals distance. So, 0 0.5 hours times 0 0.6 miles per hour equals 0 0.18 miles. 0 0.18. 1 plus 8 equals 9. At the time of opening, renting a private pod would cost 360 pounds. 360. 3 plus 6 plus 0 equals 9. The wheel admitted its first passengers on March 9th, day 9 of month 3. The eyes capsules are numbered 1 to 33, missing out the number 13. The number 13 is considered unlucky for a certain group of people in particular, this same group also hold the number 33 in high regard. So, we are left with 32 capsules. To find out how far apart each capsule is, we take 360 degrees divided by 32. Equals 11.25 degrees. 1125. 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5 equals 9. So, in summary, we have an abundance of 9s. How very interesting. So, what's so special about the number 9? Intrinsically connected to the number 3, the number 9, being 3 times 3, is also considered a magic and sacred number. It amplifies the power of 3. It is the last single digit number, thus contains all numbers, 1 to 9 within it. Because of this, there is an air of completion and fulfillment about it. The Hindu god of creation, Lord Brahma, is also represented by the number 9, due to its sense of completion and wholeness. Egyptian mythology holds the great Ennead, a group of nine deities worshipped at the Heliopolis, to include Ra, Isis and Osiris. In sacred geometry, the number 9 is considered the triad of the triads, otherwise known as the Ennead. The Pythagoreans acknowledge the sacred nature of the Ennead as the first square of an odd number. 
the Viking god Odin ruled over the nine realms of Norse. Practitioners of magic and spelling believe repeating a spell three times enhances its potency, but repeating it three times three unleashes its ultimate power. Numbers speak their own language on so many levels. Each culture, secret society or religious group has used them to express or encode their beliefs in one way or another. We can see common threads connecting each group's interpretation however. The immutable, universal language of numbers, ever-present and making itself heard. The number 9 appears to be a most sacred and divine number across cultures and eons. The ultimate amplified supercharge 3, all encoded into the London Eye. I wonder who is really behind all the nines encoded into the dimensions of the London Eye. Which group of people love a 3 and consider the number 13 unlucky, hmm? Do let me know if I've missed anything in the comment section or in the Enigma Realm channel on Telegram. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Anyway, let's talk about a topic that's really important. Our health. I want to share with you some fascinating insights about certain illnesses that we might not know about. Did you know that some illnesses are actually caused by our own behavior and emotions? And funny enough, mainstream science doesn't talk about it much. Let's take gastritis for example. It's not just caused by irregular eating habits, but it's mainly caused by stress. We should try to stay fresh and calm to keep our stomachs healthy. Another example is asthma, which can also be caused by sadness, making the lungs unstable. To prevent it, we should try to be more cheerful and take some time to refresh ourselves. And here's something surprising. Diabetes can be caused by selfish and stubborn behavior, which can disturb the pancreas function. That's why it's important to be more sincere and accept every situation. But it doesn't stop there. Did you know that high cholesterol is not just caused by consuming fatty foods? It can also be caused by excessive laziness. That's why we should try to be more active and enthusiastic, so that all the organs in our body can function well. Another example is liver problems, which are not just caused by irregular sleep patterns, but can also be caused by a love of gossip. We should try to make peace with ourselves and avoid negative talk about others. And let's not forget about hypertension, which is not just caused by consuming too much salty or meaty foods, but can also be caused by a lack of control over our emotions. We should try to regulate our emotions and feelings. Finally, coronary heart disease is not just caused by blockages in the blood vessels, but can also be caused by a lack of charitable giving, which can make the heart feel less calm and result in an unstable heartbeat. In fact, the percentage of the indicators for the emergence of diseases are spiritual 50%, psychological 25%, social 15%, physical 10%. So, if we want to stay healthy and avoid getting sick, we need to work on ourselves and our minds, especially our hearts, from all kinds of heart diseases. I hope this information helps you as much as it has helped me. It's important to take care of ourselves and our health, so let's make sure we're doing everything we can to stay healthy. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.